Hi, I'm Greg Jacobson from Kinexus, where we make improvement happen. Sometimes when you go to the doctor, they just immediately know what's wrong and how to fix it. The diagnosis, the treatment are obvious and straightforward. There are other times, though, when they have to investigate further, getting some labs or maybe an x-ray to help figure out what's going on. The same is often true with improvement work. Sometimes we just know. Other times we have to dig deeper. There are many process improvement ideas that can be considered just do-its. If there's a printer that's in a really inconvenient spot, just move it. If a change is low cost and low risk, meaning it's unlikely to cause any side effects, then just do it and then observe to see if the change really addressed the underlying problem. Other changes require us to gather data to better gauge the impact of our change. Let's say we're focusing on trying to improve customer satisfaction scores related to our customer support. We could test different changes in a more methodical way, making one change and then seeing the impact on scores for the next month. We study the impact of change to see if we got the expected results. Once we find something that works, we can share that idea throughout the company so they can implement the idea or even build upon it. In process improvements, we are following a similar approach called the PDSA cycle, plan, do, study, adjust. After planning and doing, understand the problem and putting a change in place, we test to see if the change really worked. We don't assume. We test and we confirm. Some changes are quick and easy. Some things need to be studied more deeply. Either way, we have to properly evaluate the effect of our changes to see if they're really improvements or not.